Guys, today we are searching for the best cha in New York City. You might be saying to yourself, I've seen a lot of these videos. Well, mainly they're coffee videos, all right? A lot of people go on the best coffee search. We are doing this for chai. And you might hear me say cha. Chai is also a correct term. I'm Gujarati, so I say cha. I'm white, so I say chai. Exactly. <laughs> the way we're gonna be ranking cha is on an S tier list. But to do that, we're looking at price, taste, and we're looking at aesthetic of the shop, all right? Because it has to be cool and cozy and amazing looking and perfect for the cha that we're about to have. Yeah, it can't be crappy. There, it's on the thing. Oh, down, there's Duncan. <laughs> the first spot, Chai Vio. It says it's the best chai in New York City. It's got a five star rating, but it only has 69. It's a bit ratings. sus. Okay, we gotta make sure it's actually the best chai in New York City. So we're gonna try that out. They have ice chai. No, um, we're gonna, we have to do hot chai. Me, hot. hot masala, and then I want um, almond croissant and a paneer pico roll. Ooh. And they have, look, that would be real, all of these would be really good, honestly. Okay. Hi. So I get a hot chai, small, and then almond croissant? Yeah, an almond croissant and a paneer kati roll. Let's see what this tastes like. Uh, another cup, just an empty cup. Really small. This is big. Oh, dang. There is no seating. <laughs> There's no place to eat anything. Uh, so I'm gonna have to give this a zero. No, maybe a one. Just a because one. it's in, we're right by the subway. Like that's kind of cool. The aesthetic, that's cool, but we also have no seating. In terms of aesthetic, I think I'm gonna give it a one out of five, just yeah. because I need a place to sit, you know? I get that it's by the subway, but I have a chair or two. So the pricing and the taste, I guess we'll find out. If you've ever drink cha before, this is a technique you can use to cool it down a little bit quicker, just going back and forth. Cause it is hot, it's very hot. Yeah, we might need to wait a second. It looks good. The color of it already, I'm like, okay. This looks promising. We also got almond croissant and a kati roll. Uh, but remember, we're reviewing the cha. So if these are bad, that's okay. But the girl's gotta eat. I'm the sorry. cha has to be good. All right. Ooh, it tastes, it tastes pretty good. Shoot. Tastes pretty good. Smells good. But is it watery? That's the question. No, it tastes no? really good. That's pretty good. Yeah. Okay, I, got, okay, I like I gotta, it. I gotta take more in. It's just hard because it's also 87 degrees outside right now. We're drinking hot cha. Great day to do it. We're really dedicated. So like this video if you haven't already. Please, please like it. We're we're sacrificing our well-being for this video. It's right. really good. That's pretty good. It, it almost tastes... That's pretty good. It almost tastes like a sweet, like chocolate. Yeah, they asked if we wanted sugar in it, and of course I said yes, because you have to have sugar, and the sugar adds. Oh my God. That's good, but it's also rich in masala flavor, I think. It's perfect. That's I, I gotta good. give it, dang. What do you rank it? Out of all the chives I've ever had in my life, I'd have to give it a four out of five. That's pretty good. It's pretty good. Yeah, I need to think, okay. Out of all I've had in my life, you've had much more than me. That's For me, okay, so it's not watery. Yeah. It's not too thick and creamy. It's not too sweet. It has some zest and some masala blend spice. I would say 3.5, 3.5, okay. I like that. 3.5, this cha, 3.5. Fuck. Paper quality, <laughs> not the best. Taste, 3.5. Aesthetics, one out of five. One. And in terms of the actual price, the chai itself was 475 with taxes and everything and all this stuff. It came out to $17.15. That's kind of expensive, but the chai itself is a little overpriced. I'm gonna give it a two out of five. Honestly, it's worth it. I think, Let's, I'll give it a three. I'll give the pricing a okay, three out of five. Okay, 2.5. So, the total for us, 2.5 on the price. On the S tier list, I'm gonna give it a B. Just because of the, the aesthetic. See, I don't have anything to base it off of, so it's kind of hard to say right now, but I will 
also say a B. We'll, <laughs> we'll move it depending on what the others look like, okay? Yes. But right now we're sitting at a B. It feels like there's no water in it, it's just milk. Yeah. Straight up milk. Yeah. I know, I was a little worried about it. I'm not I was gonna worried because it's. It sounds like gas station because it's strained subway, but still, it's good quality. Go take it to your babies. Mm. That is so. No, don't you dare come here. Can you tell that I'm from here? I'm lingering. still sweating from that job, okay? I'm still, I'm still, uh... Oh God, you're sticky, oh. Ooh. If this next place doesn't have air conditioning, I, th I think I might pass out. We made it to the second spot. It's called the chai spot. Red flag number one. It says chai tea. Uh, Even I know that's not right. That's incorrect. That's <laughs> TT. We're not having TT. We're not. We're not. We're having chai. But green flag, look at this. This is the seating outside. I can already tell that the atmosphere is much more cozy and aesthetic. So I would say this is probably going to rank the highest for me in terms of aesthetic. But we will see about the taste yeah. and the price. Got to get the taste and the price right. And then we'll rank it on the S tier. Hot chai. What we're looking for is that the traditional cardamom. What's your favorite thing? Oh, I like the butter chai. The butter chai is really good. The cashmere chai. It's like a salty, sweet kind of chai. Ooh, the butter like chai. The okay, how about how about we get the, the traditional chai, and then I'll give you a sample of the butter chai. That would be that great. Would be Thank you. Thank you so much. Your shoes, that's awesome. This is, okay, this is adding to the this experience. Is a, this is very, I would say, truly traditional. An authentic, authentic experience. This is awesome. First thing we have to talk about is the aesthetic of this place. Uh, immaculate, immaculate. Like, how I think there's, there's just no way, there's no way there's gonna be anything better. We have to take off our shoes to walk in here. How cool is that? I mean, how authentic and traditional is that? That is Pretty so cool. traditional. And I just want to mention that we got free samples. Um, we couldn't decide between what we wanted, so the guy was like, well, how about you order this one, and then you can actually get a sample of the other one. So we're going to do a sample first. I'm really pumped to try this one because this one is a little bit more expensive, but he said it was worth it, and honestly, yeah. it's his favorite. So we're going to try this one first. So this is like butter, butter chai. chai. Yeah, chai, cha. I like how we said it at the same time, but I said chai and you said cha. Okay, you ready? let's try it. Whoa, that is, he's right, that's salty that and sweet. That is the best tasting thing I've ever had in my life. That is the best tasting. Whoa. That, is, that tastes so good. That like hits you really quick. Like the real, it tastes, but it literally tastes buttery. That has so much flavor to it. I see why he, <laughs> I see why he likes this one. Okay, just so per, put in perspective, oh one, of, one cup of these is $10. So, so we got free samples. <laughs> it's kind of crazy that he gave us free samples of this. That tastes really good. That's phenomenal. And so we also got the traditional, just so we can compare it to the last place. This is what we're actually going to rate, because this is what... The most similar, and it's the most fair to what we've yeah. been doing already. I have a feeling it's going to be good. Mm. The other one is... I, th I think we should have tried this first. Try it. Try it. It's watery. Mm. So it is a little watery. It's a little watery. But, but look at the cup of it. It's so cute. Yeah, the, the cup and everything. So that just plays into the whole aesthetic. I think the aesthetic of this place is just really doing it for me. I can see myself just coming in here, chillaxing, taking oh. off my shoes. Why'd you spill that? Taste of the actual, like, traditional cha, I'm gonna give it a two. I'm gonna give it a two as well. Uh, well, okay, no, actually, that's not fair because we had the really sweet one first, so I'll say a three. So it's 2. not 5. that watery. 2.5 on our end. Then yeah. the aesthetic. 10 out of five. It's it's a five out of five, guys. It's it's the best. I don't think there's anything that's gonna beat this one. Nothing is gonna top the aesthetic, that is for sure. <sighs> Price. We're looking at $7.08 for one cup of chai. That is more expensive than the last place. We're gonna have to give it a two. 
unfortunately. The price, but the aesthetic just you're paying for the aesthetic, everybody. And I will say that if we didn't get the traditional chai, 10 out of 10, if it was phenomenal. If we're just thinking about the butter chai, guys, it is, this is gonna be S tier. Yeah, that would be S tier. This would so make it S tier. Five. So yeah. right now, I would give it A tier. Mm -hmm. So right now it's sitting at A tier with traditional chai, but if you get butter, butter chai, <laughs> Yeah, so S -tier. come here and get the butter chai. It will not disappoint. That's probably the best chai I've ever had. <laughs> Tastes like I'm drinking hot cha milkshake. And it's thick as well. We just finished uh, the rest of the chai after sitting here for about 30 minutes. It's actually really good. Um, it's very good. I think it was because we had the butter chai and then we had this chai that it made it seem like it wasn't as good, but it's actually pretty good. I'm gonna have to say it's still. I wouldn't I, say S tier. I don't think. I think it's still A tier. Yes. I, we gotta check out everything. If we have to, we'll move it to S tier. But I'm, I'm gonna leave it at A tier right now. So what would you rank the taste of it? I think it's. I think it's back up to like a three or four. I would say 3.5. 3.5 it is. Hey, just wanted to say thank you for the recommendation. It was oh amazing. It was, it was so good. It was so I love it. It's a little expensive, but it's Hey, it's worth, worth it. it. It's honestly yeah. worth it. I see why it's yeah. expensive. Yeah. Price, the price is hefty, but they do give 30% of their uh, funds to a charity that helps people in Pakistan and India. So that's a plus. We're at our third spot, Kolkata Chai. I'm excited for this one. We know a lot of people who have been here. We've seen a lot of reviews. It has a lot of reviews. So it has to be good, right? Right? I mean, I've heard of this one quite a bit from Thadak behind the camera, from a lot of other people as well, and on social media. So I have high hopes for this one. I don't know because the last one was so good. I don't know where this one's gonna rank, but I guess we're gonna find out. The aesthetics from the last one were good, but I have a feeling this might taste better. So let's, let's go find out. First green flag compared to the last place we were at. I cross out the T. Homer, okay. it's an art. <laughs> Perfect, thank you. All right, we're gonna have to go, let's sit outside. It smells a lot like the last Get one. Get rich or try trying. First taste test, all right, here we go. Is it hot? It's not that hot, it's really good though. It's got the flavor. This tastes like the last one. This tastes a lot like the last one. I like it. It's not like the best I've ever had. It's just that it's also 91 degrees outside right now. It's 91? Yeah, so it's a little warm. The aesthetic of this place, I would give it a two. Two, yeah, okay, same. It's great, not enough space, but it is New York City, so you can't hold them on that. And the price was actually... Not bad. Reasonable. Five dollars after tax, gotta remember that. Price, I'll give it a three. They're all really small. 3.5. 3.5 it is. And taste is three. Three. I still put it, I would say B tier. B tier. B or C. B. That's New York for you. B tier. B tier. I would say B tier. Yeah. Because I've had others that are better. I don't know why we've had so, I got much, so caffeine, much caffeine. And I'm tired. I'm so tired. Going crazy. Okay. Oh god. I want to go like steal a car right now. GTA in New York City. In real life. I don't think that's a good idea at all. Here we go. Is it too bright? We have made it to our fourth location, everybody. The hideout. Voted top chai in New York City. We're about to find that out. I do see seating inside, so hopefully the aesthetics is better than the last place. Let's go in and, and find out. Let's go. <laughs> it really is like a hideout. I'm really excited to try it. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, Thank, right. you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh my god. Thank you. It's a nice cup. Look at the aesthetic already is scoring high. Let me smell it. Ooh, I think it's made with oat milk too. Okay, I'm gonna 2%. taste it. I know it's gonna be really hot. I gotta take a video. <laughs> oh my god. It's so hot. It's very hot. Yeah. It tastes just so different. I don't even know how I feel about it. I don't, it doesn't really. I don't know if it tastes like chai. Okay, I'm about to take a sip. Let's see how this is with oat milk. Oh. 
And I already had a sip of this, but I don't think it tastes like chai. It does not. It doesn't really taste like chai. <clears throat> 784 for this. That's a lot. That's, that's not cheap. So aesthetic, price, and taste. Aesthetic. I'd say it's like a three. I would say it's a four. I liked it in four. there. Four. Yeah. Okay. It was so nice. let's let's give it a four. Yeah. It was nice. It was very cold and and perfect. Good seating. It's not the most amount of sitting, but it was. But I would enough. say it holds true to New York City, right? Like it's kind of a hole in the wall place. Like you go down some stairs to get into it. it truly is a hideout. So I think that's pretty cool. It makes sense. Price. It's pricey. I gotta give it a one. Yeah. It is expensive. It was like 784 or something like that. And finally, taste. Unfortunately, a 1.5. <laughs> Unfortunately, 1.5, I would agree with that. Only it's, reason being, mm. it doesn't taste like chai. It, it doesn't. It doesn't traditionally taste like chai, or at least the ones that we've had, especially today. I think it's made with oat milk, right? Yes. And so that might be the reason. So you got to keep in, keep in mind, like maybe that's the reason why it tastes so different. On the S tier list, hideout is going to have to be D tier. Unfortunately, I'm sorry, but hopefully this next place we're about to go to exceeds our expectations. On to the next. Number five. Number five is Kawa House. Let's let's see. Let's see how it is. We're excited. I think this might be pretty high scale. From the outside, guys, come on. This is pretty New York aesthetic from the outside. Am I right? They're ranked 4.7 out of five. So I just want to point that out. 7? Well, we're about to find out. Let's go. It's a push. It's good. Cheese sambusa. Just traditional chai. Thank you. Thank you. I don't know how I'm tired. We've only had caffeine all day. My eyes are twitching. Vibes are immaculate. Ooh. Oh my god. Aesthetic, five out of five. And with everything else in here, five out of five. Now that it's cooled down a little bit, it does just taste pretty dang good. It's very nicely sweet. All right, I gotta say that one was fire. I honestly was not expecting it to be as good as it was. They brought it out in a pot. So already aesthetic is five out of five. Aesthetic is five guys. Plus the outside, it looks amazing. Like I said at the beginning and the price, the price is was good. It's $10. That's a lot. Yes. But for, for this. the amount that you're getting, that's a pretty good price. Yes. And it so, was nice and hot, piping hot when it came out. Because it's $10, I'm still going to give it like a four. A four. That's reasonable. Guys, the taste. I got to give it a 4.5. Four out of five? 4. Yeah. 4. 5. I would agree with that. I think what would make it a five? It would make it a five if there was just a little more ginger. Mm. I think just a little more ginger would be a five. This is S tier. This is S tier. This is guys. S tier. This is top. This is the top of the list for oh me. Oh my gosh. I can't. We I saved the cannot. best for last. Somehow that just worked out perfectly. Well, guess what? We have one more special one for you guys. So let's 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 go. I'm dehydrated. <sighs> now for number six, we don't have very high expectations but we have to order a chai tea latte just for comparison's sake. And that is gonna be at Starbucks. The one and only. Let's go in and see uh, what we find. I'm not excited. It's already done. Thank you. That was fast, thank you. Oh, I, can't, so I can't taste so it yet. It's pretty small, okay, it's iced, it's not hot. They don't have a hot one, so we had to go with this one. So, you know, we gotta work what we got, okay? Here we go. Let's Look at try. the color. Look at the color. Drink it. Listen, it tastes nothing like chai at all. It's sweet, very sugary, I can feel it. They just took some chai concentrate from the store and put a little bit of milk in it. A lot of milk, actually. There's definitely no cardamom or ginger in here. No, it's unfortunate. It does the trick, I guess. I'm gonna, I'm gonna rate this. Aesthetic. <laughs> aesthetic, a zero. <laughs> there wasn't even seating. Price. Terrible. Zero. This was seven dollars for this tiny little thing, guys. That's literally seven. smaller than Indiana size. Okay. Seven dollars, really? Taste zero. zero. Hey. Uh, that's all I have to say on this one. Should we even give it an F, or should it be Z? It's not even like on the list. Put it somewhere so it will go on F. 
It is the F tier, everybody. Now you know, oh. you have seen all of New York City. I know I said this was the last one, but we have one special one that we just want to mention. My love's like a black hole sun, so bright when it burns, so dark when it's done. So hard to relate to one when I find myself tripping off that blind. Tripping off this blunt, so I might be blunt if I do confront you. Ah. Well, those chop places were amazing, but there is nothing, nothing like a good cup of chai from home. In terms of price, taste, and aesthetic, chai at home, just off the charts. All right, S plus 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 tier, okay. And thank you guys for watching this video. I really hope that you go to some of these places that we tried. And if you do, just let us know in the comments below on which one was your favorite. If you haven't already, make sure you like the video. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, Thank you all for watching. We'll see you next time. One more thing, uh, Hallie, we have to thank somebody. The person who's been recording us all day we do. is Tarak Patel oh, over here. Stop. He's been the cameraman, so I just want to thank you. Go follow him. He has a photography site called Tarak Shots. You gotta go. If you need some photos, go me out. New Jersey, New York, Pennsylvania, Philadelphia, I'm here. <laughs>